A freaky eater is someone who takes an eating habit to an extreme. 34-year-old Nikki has a hardcore obsession with cornstarch. Cornstarch is my best friend. Daily, she downs two pounds of cornstarch. I cannot stop eating it. And lies to her husband about the extent of her dangerous addiction. But you're not gonna let him know, right? Can experts Dr. Mike Dow and JJ Virgin what you got there? Whoa! Whoa! And Nikki's destructive diet. I don't want to lose my family. With just one week of intense therapy. And you're choosing cornstarch over your family. Or will their efforts go up in smoke? Whoa! 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 My wife, Nikki, is a freaky eater. 34-year-old Nikki loves to eat cornstarch all day long. Cornstarch is soft. It's very fine. It is so, so good. I cannot stop eating it. She eats up to two pounds of cornstarch a day. That's 3,300 calories daily from cornstarch alone. Cornstarch is normally used for thickening, baking. But me personally, when I buy it, it's strictly for eating it. My mouth always water for it. It is the best. Mm -mm -mm. My first craving for the cornstarch started when I was pregnant 16 years ago. Most women, when they're pregnant, they normally crave like pickles and ice cream, things like that. But my craving was cornstarch. And I would eat two to three boxes a day. After the pregnancy, Nikki struggled to eat less cornstarch. But then a family tragedy brought back her habit in full force. My son, Marquise, he was four years old. He was my youngest of four children. He passed away four years ago due to a seizure. They couldn't resuscitate him. Marquise was my life. I miss my baby. Since Marquise has been gone, I did start eating cornstarch more than I normally was. It is an escape for me. I have had health issues, stomach pain, and constipation. She's really hurting herself with this cornstarch. Right now, I think Nikki's eating three to four boxes a week. Hey, honey, I'm home. Other than snacking on cornstarch throughout the day, Nikki only eats one normal meal, dinner, with her husband, Charles. As a result, he doesn't realize she's actually consuming 14 boxes a week. Let me get the Louisiana hot sauce, OK? OK. No. I hide cornstarch from Charles. I keep my cornstarch in sealed plastic bags all throughout the house. I keep it in my car underneath the spare tire. I keep it in my purse. Charles would be so unhappy if he knew how much cornstarch I ate right now. Nikki eating cornstarch has caused friction between the two of us. I told her, either you get help or I'm out the door. But Nikki can't imagine life without cornstarch. Cornstarch is my best friend. I don't think I can stop eating cornstarch anytime at all. Even though Charles isn't aware of the extent of his wife's addiction, what he does know has led him to call in freaky eater experts, Dr. Mike Dow and JJ Virgin, for a week of intense therapy. Oh, hi there. Mm. <laughs> what you got there? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Nothing. It's like smoke everywhere. Nothing. I didn't know who these two people were, and I just felt busted. We were sent by your husband, Charles. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Mike Dow. I'm a psychotherapist specializing in disordered eating and addictive behaviors. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you nice look to a meet you. Surprised to see I'm us. JJ. <laughs> I'm JJ Virgin. I'm a certified nutrition specialist and a certified health and fitness specialist. Hey, why are you in the back of your truck eating cornstarch? My husband doesn't was, does not like for me to eat it. He is threatened if I didn't stop eating the cornstarch that my family would be torn apart. Mm. And I, I don't want that. Yep. So but then why didn't you just stop? I can't. Nikki's cornstarch addiction is dramatically affecting her marriage. I just like have to sneak. I eat it at work. I have some hidden in my flower pots. Will you show us this? Sure. All right. But you're not going to let him know, right? No, none of the information will come from us to your husband. JJ and I wanted to see exactly where and how many places she had this cornstarch hidden. One is in the closet Let's in my see. jacket. Nikki had cornstarch stashes literally all over the house. In the entry. There's one. In the living room. Right here. In the kitchen. 
It's like heroin stashed. With her 16 years of cornstarch consumption, Nikki's at risk for some serious health issues. I would imagine that you would have stomach pains, gas and bloating. How often are you having bowel movements? Maybe once a week. Once, once a, a week. week? Yeah. Eating this amount of cornstarch could create a bowel obstruction. This could already be going on. You're choosing cornstarch over your family. Well, You're I choosing don't think it. I am. But your husband said that he would take the kids and leave. You're not going to tell him that I hid them, though, right? You are going to be the one doing the talking here. I have to tell him. It's vital for Nikki to come clean to Charles. When it comes to addiction, the first step is being honest, not only with yourself, but to those you love. How are you feeling right now? It's sad. I don't want to lose my family. Mm -hmm. And I do want to be healthy. Nikki's obviously addicted to cornstarch. This is going to be a big challenge. Nikki eats a frightening amount of cornstarch, devouring up to two boxes a day and hiding the evidence from her husband, Charles. I don't think I can stop eating cornstarch. It's time for a hefty dose of shock therapy so Nikki can come to terms with what cornstarch is doing in her life. You would not want to do the things we're about to do with you in your house. We set up such a huge shock therapy for Nikki that we actually had to go to a warehouse to do it. Where do you see this? <laughs> JJ and I pulled the cover off this pool to reveal the amount of cornstarch mixed with water that Nikki eats in a year. This is a foot and a half deep. This here is 739 pounds of cornstarch. I was really shocked. This was so much in a year's worth. This isn't good for me. What do you think is going to happen if I walk on this? Sink. Wow. If you walk fast, you can walk right across it. Walk on water, JJ. Look at that. Then it was Nikki's turn. We wanted her to have the experience so she could feel the consistency. Oh. I was fearful of sinking all the way to the bottom. Faster the better. Fast, <laughs> fast, fast. Go, go, go. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> and there go the shoes. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> For 16 years, Nikki's body's had to process this thick, gooey, cement-like substance. You can so actually fun. walk across it. If Nikki continues eating cornstarch in the amounts that she is eating it, a blockage and surgery could be in her future. That's crazy. I was thinking, this is what I have been consuming in my body. I was really, really worried, but I was trying not to show that. We got one last thing to show you. Come over here. I was like, oh my gosh, what are they going to do to me next? You got to put some hazard clothing on. Are you ready to see and experience what six months of your cornstarch looks and feels like? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it looked like a volcano had erupted. Six months. I was speechless of how much cornstarch was in that warehouse. Now that you've seen it, now that you've walked across it, inhaled it, what do you want to do with this in your life? I want to give it up. All right. I think Nikki's overall reaction is one of acceptance, of saying, yes, I do have a problem. A cornstarch snow angel here? You yeah. can walk across it, but it's not good for eating. The experiment in the warehouse was a wake-up call for me. <laughs> Have a seat. Now that Nikki realizes the extent of her problem, Dr. Dow wants her to confront the moment she's been dreading from the start. Nikki needs to come clean to Charles about her addiction to cornstarch. I invite you to tell him what you feel comfortable. I might as well be honest. I have been eating more cornstarch than you thought. Sometimes two boxes a day. Two boxes? That was shocking to me right there. I had a lot of hiding places, like in the trunk of the car, in the closet. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, this really don't got out, out of control. I didn't know that Nikki was hiding that much cornstarch from me. I was very upset about that. 
you were dealing with, so much pain. You miss Marquise? Oh, yes, definitely. It's hard, you know, I go through it on a daily basis. I, I try not to show it, though, you know? When Marquise passed away, what did you see in terms of your cornstarch consumption? What I did when Marquise passed, I ate it a lot more, like three boxes a day. It is an emotional addiction. You eat because you're not expressing your feelings. What Nikki was really needing was support and somewhere to go with her sadness. I don't want her to go to cornstarch. I want her to go to her husband. If we take away cornstarch, we gotta add something. And what we need to add is the strength of this marriage is you being able to go to your husband. When you're hurting, I'm hurting too as well. You have to let me know. You have to be open to me as well. For now on, my word is my bond. If Charles can be there to support her, then Nikki can replace that addictive behavior with affection from her husband. Nikki has confronted the 739 pounds of cornstarch she eats in a year. Oh, oh, oh. And has come clean to her husband. For now, on my word is my bond. Now, Dr. Dow and JJ want to see what 16 years of a cornstarch diet have done to Nikki's body. Hi. Nikki, this is Dr. Allegra. Nice to meet you, Nikki. Because Nikki complains of severe stomach pains and has only one bowel movement a week, we needed a doctor to rule out any potential intestinal blockage. Dr. Allegra is a radiologist, so he's going to be able to look inside to see what's going on. I'm like, OK, I hope nothing is going to be wrong. We're getting a great look at your stomach. Hold it there. What I'm going to do is have you drinking through a straw. Dr. Allegra gives Nikki barium to drink, which will show up on the x-ray machine and reveal any blockage. One sip, one swallow. There you go. I started to get very worried. Right now, I'm really concerned, and I don't know what may be wrong with me. How are you feeling? It's scary. Uh, it has me really nervous. And I don't want to go through this. No, because this is the easy part. What's scary is if they found a blockage, and then you would have to have surgery, right? And it's a really very real consequence of your behavior. Now she's really starting to realize that if she does not change her behavior, there can be some very serious medical consequences in her future. Have a seat. We took her to see Dr. Nicholas Karyatakis to review the results. Starch is basically a carbohydrate. In those quantities, it's hard to digest. You may develop diabetes. It is a real risk. So the good news is that the x-rays that you took were normal. That means that the fluid that you ingested goes through your food pipe and the rest of your intestinal tract without any blockage. OK. There was a sense of relief, but I know that it can cause damage if I was to continue to eat cornstarch. Now it's the time to act. Sounds like the message here is it's not too late. Exactly. I felt that cornstarch was no longer my friend. I need to stop eating cornstarch. Well, I'm done. And now you say it's completely gone. Because I have to. Because you recognize that your health is at serious risk. Yeah. You never want to do that again? No. Well, and you don't have don't. to. Sounds like you're making a big first step. Mm-hmm. Nikki got through her medical scare, and now she's ready to make a change. So I'm going to give her some tools so she'll know how to eat. I'm going to show Nikki some healthy eating options and give her a good substitute for cornstarch. I wanted to put foods at this table that had as many potential benefits for you as possible. I wanted to load her up with foods that are rich in zinc, protein, iron, all things that she hasn't been getting any of. You have to eat three meals a day, so you're too full to eat your cornstarch. I normally eat one meal a day and cornstarch throughout the day, so this is a big change for me. But I know that I can't just pull out the cornstarch, so I'm gonna give you some strategies. I recognize that Nikki's gonna have a craving for cornstarch for a while, and I think tapering is gonna serve her better. We made a healthy rendition of her cornstarch by adding protein powder and fiber powder into it. I want you just to taste it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like you're really liking that so much. I don't. Let's see if we can cut it a little bit more. I added a little more cornstarch. That's better. 
So we're gonna wean you off cornstarch. I wanna make sure that you succeed here. You know what's at stake. Yes, I okay. do. I think it's gonna take me some time to wean me off of cornstarch. Thank you. You are welcome. It's time for us to leave Nikki for four days, and we have some homework for her. I want you to both write a letter to Marquise. The whole, I'm gonna deal with things by eating cornstarch, that's not working anymore. Honoring your son is gonna be an important part of your emotional journey. You must eat three meals a day. The stakes are high here. We're gonna be leaving with the tools, and we're gonna be back to check on you. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> Good work. Nikki is used to going to cornstarch for support and for solace. So if something stressful happens, Nikki might fall back to her old patterns. We'll see when we come back. Having received good news with her test results and given alternative choices to cornstarch. That's better. Nikki is now on her own. Got one of your favorites, right? It was kind of hard the first day, eating three meals a day, but I know that that's what I need. By day three, Nikki's urges to eat cornstarch are growing stronger. I have cravings for cornstarch every day. But when I do have the urge for cornstarch, I just go to my mixture with the protein and fiber. Too bad. I can see myself weaning myself away from the cornstarch totally. On day four, Nikki and Charles sit down to write letters to their son, Marquise. Writing a letter to Marquise was very, very emotional. <sighs> I was able to get things off of my chest. A lot of things I was holding in, a lot of pain. It's something that I should have done a while ago. Nikki's been on her own for a few days, so JJ and I are coming back to see how she's done. How did the homework go? I have been eating my three meals a day. OK, so what about that cornstarch mixture? I only had two bites of that. That's <laughs> huge, Nikki, yeah. <laughs> if Nikki was able to last these last couple days with only a few tablespoons of cornstarch, I think she's going to do really well in the long haul. Did you guys write those letters to your son, Marquise? Yes, yes we, we did. did. It was hard. Mm but I feel that it was very well needed. Now we have one more final surprise for Nikki and Charles. Now we want to take you somewhere really special. Okay. 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 We took Nikki and Charles to a marina for their special surprise. What better place in the ocean to really be in touch with your feelings? Peek over your shoulder there. That's for you. Oh my God. I was so, so surprised. All right, let's Are get on. Are you ready? JJ and I were going to be joining them on their afternoon cruise. The biggest thing that you've let go of over the last couple days is this craving for cornstarch. We thought it would be very symbolic if you actually let the cornstarch go into the water for good. This was Nikki's final test. Is she really ready to let it go for good? Leaving the cornstarch behind me, it's healthy for me, and I know that that's what I need. What do you want to say to that cornstarch? The healthier things, my family, is way more important than the cornstarch. You don't need that no more. No, I don't. I had you both write letters to Marquise. We would love to hear you both read your letters. To my dearest beloved son, I miss you, son, so, so much and I love you with all my heart. You will always be remembered for the rest of my life. I have been getting help with eating cornstarch, son. I pray that it helps. I am willing to give it up because I do want to live long. Know that I love you and always will from the bottom to the top of my heart and soul. I love you, son. Love, mama. It was very emotional, and those were extra tears that I needed to release. Thank you. Before we left them, I wanted Nikki to do something with those letters. You read your letters to Marquise, and now it's time to send them. We had Nikki and Charles tie their heartfelt letters to the balloons, and then they release them together. Ready? All right. All right. Off and away it goes, huh? Yes. It was like a letter going to heaven. Still going. This is something that will help them to heal. 
You got each other, you got your family. Yeah, there's a whole lot of replacements for that cornstarch. Let that go. It's been a long journey, but I have. Before we arrived, Nikki was a lonely woman who was eating all of her feelings. Now, she's a woman who's getting her emotional needs met through her husband, through healthy eating, and through living a meaningful life. I thank the both of you so much. Nikki has a brand new life. I feel very confident that cornstarch is a thing of the past. Thank you, JJ. After receiving all the tools from the experts, I'm hoping that I can wean myself off cornstarch completely. I do feel that I will succeed in the future. You take care of each other, all right? We will. Yeah.